All right, everybody, welcome back to EKG. We're back for the finale episode for this year for uh, for my Game of Thrones Crusader Kings 2 playthroughs. And uh, for this one, since it's uh, the special last episode of the year, I wanted to, uh, to do something a little bit different, something we haven't done. We're going to play as a character, uh, but we're going to play it a little bit different this time. We're going to start as Ned Stark, uh, but we're not going to be honorable, good Ned Stark. No, no, no. Every other time I, I've, I've done this, every week I've played in character, so this time we're gonna we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna play completely out of character, and we're gonna be evil Ned Stark. And we're gonna start here in the uh, the Greyjoy Rebellion, and I'm gonna try to do everything I can to just be an evil Joffrey kind of uh, Ramsay Bolton kind of evil just bastard. And uh, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start as Eddard. We're gonna maybe, you know, maybe murder our wife, maybe murder our best friend, Robert Baratheon, you know, maybe try to declare independence and become an evil king in the north. We'll see what happens. Uh, but we're gonna do everything Ned wouldn't do. Long live King Robert. Well, not too long, hopefully. Because we got some evil shit to do. Alright, so I'm gonna get my shit set up with my council and my ambitions, and we will be back. Alright, so uh, the first thing I did discover is that I do have a new lordship here. It is the High Lordship of Sea Dragon Point, and I found the perfect person to give it to. Look at our new lord, Walder Hodor. I'm about to raise him to nobility. All right, so let's let's raise him to nobility. What's his house going to be? Draupad? Is, is, is Walder Hodor Draupad? That is his, quite the house name. But guess what? You're now a lord. You're a proud lord of Sea Dragon Point, Hodor. What do you have to say to say about that, Hodor? Is it Hodor? Lord Hodor? <laughs> well, he's going to be a loyal servant to me, that's for sure, in this playthrough. So, uh... So let's find an evil ambition. We're going to improve our intrigue, because we're going to need that if we want to start assassinating people, because Ned Stark has an intrigue level of zero. But I do have uh, Roos Bolton in my court, so he's going to be my... Uh, he's got 29 intrigue, which is very high for this game. Uh, so we're going to use him, and then uh, educate Rob Stark. Oh, yeah, i got to educate him myself. We need to make sure he comes up in the evil ways. So we're going to assign a guardian for him. It will be yours truly. Yours evil truly. And then what else we're going to do to really seal this is we're going to use some console commands here. I'm breaking I'm breaking the rule here cuz we got to make our guy evil. So we're going to add trait here cruel. That's one. Added cruel to Eddard of the North. We're going to add trait torturer. If it lets me add that one, it might not. Nope. We're going to add trait ruthless. So now we we are now ruthless and cruel. So that fits that fits our mo here. Uh, so now with those traits fit the Ned Stark that we're going to be playing as, and we're going to raise the banners and march to war because what what else would an evil bastard want to do than march to war and defeat some Greyjoys? So let's do that. Let's raise our troops. All right. So we're here with our first evil plot. I'm going to murder Catelyn <laughs> for no reason in particular. I just want to see if I can do it because I want to prove to the world that I'm an evil Ned Stark. So we're going to start sending out gifts to arrange for this murder. Roose Bolton's all about it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man. Green thumbs up. Let's do it. Howlin' Reed's like, bro, we got you, man. <laughs> we never liked her anyway. Uh, but we're going to do that. So we're going to assassinate Catelyn, and then our next assassination target's going to be uh, Robert Baratheon himself. Uh, but I'm organizing. I, I unraised my troops, if you're wondering. I decided not to fight the Greyjoys because I'm saving my troops because... Tywin Lannister has a deposed King Robert faction, which I hopped onto, so me and Tywin might be buddies in this in this playthrough. There's also a, a faction in here for Viserys uh, to try to put a Targaryen back on the throne. Um, so I would join that faction too if they actually had enough men. In fact, I'm going to join that one as well, just in case they do get enough men. I'm going to hop on that faction just to give it some credibility there. Maybe some other people will join us. Um... Oh, it won't let me actually. I can only do independence and depose. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna depose King Robert as soon as it lets us. We're gonna let this war play out a little bit. Oh, my friend John invited me to a banquet. My friend, my mentor, John Aaron. Oh, uh, yes. Now, what would the evil Ned Stark do? Why bother? Well, that's the evilest thing I can do is just say why bother to his invitation. Really? I could go. Uh, you know why? Why bother? Fuck you, John Aaron. I'm evil Ned Stark, and the evilest thing Ned Stark can do is not go to a party he's invited to. <laughs> Guys, this is really evil as far as Ned Stark goes. So, I mean, I'm plotting to kill my wife, so at least I have evil things in the works so far. Let's see how that's going, by the way. Uh, I could send for a faceless man, but that seems unnecessary. You'd think Ned Stark would just be able to handle this himself, right? Alright, we're, we're gonna send a gift to try to get this plot moving along. 
Oh, here we go. Another chance to be truly evil. My ancient, ancient aunt, Sansa Stark, who I had almost no relation to. How about just a small private funeral? Ooh, now that's pure evil. Uh, so yeah, if, if we're looking at the war here in the Iron Isles, I didn't even need to send my troops because I'm already there. If you look at the bottom, army of Lord Eddard Stark, so I'm already leading the troops. So I didn't need to bother sending my men. Oh, here we go, another chance to be truly evil. Me and King Robert have drifted apart. Are we even friends anymore? You know what? We're not friends anymore. Oh! Wow, and end the episode right there. We won't, but that, that's the evil cliffhanger. My god, this, this is gonna get cancelled. Oh my, oh wait, oh cool, since I'm leading the charge here, I'm gonna take all these prisoners. This might be our first chance to be truly evil. I'm gonna imprison the entire family, of course. And uh, during the Siege of Pike, the, Ar the Ironborn fleet led by King Balon the Great Kraken did battle with our fleet, and we won. Great. Oh no, no, pause! Okay. So I'm going to make sure I pause this just in time, because Robert actually has the capability to take these prisoners from me, and I don't want that to happen. There we go. Alright, so I've got some prisoners. This is where it starts. So, it's not letting me ransom any of these, so let's start with the Queen here. So we can throw her in the Uble. That's pretty evil. So let's start out doing some evil shit. Let's, let's throw everyone in the Uble. How about that? So you're going in the Uble, Asha. Sorry, Asha, she's just a kid. The poor kid. Uh, but Dagon, I don't even know who you are, so I'm going to execute you. Dagon the Drunkard, yep, you're going to die. And I want to see him crushed to death? What? What does he get crushed to death by? Oh my god, there's more? Tear his bowels out. What? Who made this? Put him in the bear pit. He will be hung, drawn, and quartered. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If he's hung and then drawn and quartered, I don't see how that's that cruel. Let's see what else there is. Okay, there's more. My god. Boil him alive. I know. Saw him in half. <laughs> Saw him in half. Guys, there's tons of these. Bury him alive. My god. Break him on the wheel or wall him up in a tomb. That better be the end of them. Okay, good. That's the end. I was getting very worried for the creator of this mod. You know what? Which one do you guys want, guys? Shout it at the screen. How do we kill Dagon Greyjoy? You know what? We're gonna boil him alive. Give him to the Drowned God. That seems fair. There we go. Was boiled to death on the or orders of Eddard Stark. Okay. Alright, that's a start. That's the start. Now we have the torturer trait. Let's see. Uh, Marin Greyjoy? Alright, let's see. Now we, we, got, we, we get to use all of these options here. Uh, we got, see him crushed to death. I still want to know what he gets crushed to death with. Alright, you know what? You're getting your bowels torn out. That sounds not fun. Oh, God. So, Marin Greyjoy had his bowels torn out on the orders of Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. There's a sentence you don't hear. Alright, let's keep being evil, guys. Here's Theon. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. It's poor little Theon. Guys. Guys, how old? Oh, no. Okay, he's 11. So, I don't feel too... Alright, uh, you know what? He's getting cru... Oh, no. Put him in the bear pit. <laughs> Uh, so Theon Greyjoy was given to the bear. Oh my god. Eddard Stark, this is this is quite the turn. I don't even know who this is. Lord Robin? Oh, okay, this is uh, a new Greyjoy. Oh, okay, so this is Balon's brother. So apparently in this he had a, a simpleton brother. Uh, so, you know what? He's getting executed. You know what? I don't even care. Uh, uh, you know what? After so many, after tearing someone's bowels out, you really can't one-up it. <laughs> so what else? Can we saw him in half? I'm going to try to do a magic trick. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Guys, my magic trick didn't work. Robin Greyjoy was accidentally sawed in half. You know what? I'll get it this time. Quentin Greyjoy. The trick screwed up last time. <laughs> the, the, the trick screwed up. I, I got it this time. I got it this time. You know what? All I had to do was... We'll do the bury him alive trick. He'll escape. So if I... See, hold on. He, it says he was buried alive on the orders of Lord Eddard of the North, but it doesn't say what happened to him. It just says he was buried alive, so therefore, it doesn't say I killed him. You know, that that's a rude assumption. Here's the Queen. You know what? So we're going to execute the Queen, that's for sure. Um, but what, what else is there even left here? What else is there even left? Break her on the wheel. I don't even want to know what that means, but that's what we did to her. Um, someone in the comments can let me know what that means, or not. Maybe don't. Maybe I don't want to know. 
Uh, Harl Greyjoy, you know what? I don't even know who you are, so you're gonna just be beheaded. He's like, oh, thank God, I'm a nobody. Yes, it is the old way to behead them. <laughs> the ancient honorable Ned Stark, he gets beheaded after I tore someone's balls out and fed someone to a bear and s cut someone in half. All right, so Asha Greyjoy, you're the only one who's left. Or no, and then there's Balon, of course. So I'm going to execute you as well. What else is left here? We're kind of running out of cruel ways to do this. I'm, I'm trying to get the Torturer trade. There's only a 10% chance I get it every time I do this. So I'm, tr I'm trying to get that Torturer trade. I don't know what else I have to do. I'm going to wall her up in a tomb, whatever that means. But so she's dead. And then here's Balon. He hates me, surprisingly, because I executed his entire family cruelly. Um, but he's the only one left. Actually, if I execute him, the war goes to Euron. So I'm going to actually leave him to, uh, to Robert. So we're going to let this play out now. All right, but first we're going to put him in the Ublay because it gave me the option to. All right, so he surrendered. So let's see what happens to him. Maybe Robert will just put him to death because that seems merciful at this point. But nope, he's in Robert. Or, or no, he's still in my dungeon. So the war ended and I get to keep him. Oh, cool. So that means I don't even have to. Perfect. That'll raise my tyranny, but not like it matters at this point. All right, so you know what? Oh, I got to get something that's going to give me this this thing here. Which one haven't I done yet? Actually, I think I've done them all. I did the... Oh, no, I didn't crush someone to death. I haven't crushed someone to death with this mysterious thing. So, but that's what happened. He was crushed to death by some mysterious object that we'll leave up to the imagination. And uh, the only one left is Roderick, who might not be fond of me. Nope. He demands vengeance. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why. Well, guys, I said I was going to be playing as an evil Ned Stark, and it started out with me kind of just rudely declining invitations and just kind of being sassy. And then it took a quick turn. It went zero to 100 real quick, and I started tearing people's bowels out. So we are we are safely an evil Eddard Stark now, and it never gave me that torture retreat, so I guess I don't know what I have to do to earn that. I guess I still have nothing on Joffrey, which is disappointing. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll cut back after I, I get forward with a murder plot here. All right, so I have a chance to righteously imprison Howlin' Reed, and what is his crime? He was trying to buy some random person's loyalty. He's my designated regent and my best friend, but it's not going to stop me from putting him in the dungeon. Sorry, dude. You, you, you met me on my worst playthrough. You're my master at arms, one of the most useful people I have, and you know what, Jorah? You've been promoted. Let's hope, let's hope you do a good job. Train my children. You, be, you better do a good job of this, because, oh, Howlin', I'm so sorry for what's about to happen. Oh, oh, good. Hodor joined my murder plot, so that's good to know, guys. Actually, I'm going to keep him alive because he's... Oh, no, I took him off my plot power. Ah, damn it. All right, so this was actually very unbeneficial, but this is the price you pay to be evil. All right, so where's my prisoner? Here he is. Howland Reed, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean for it to be this way. I didn't mean for it to be this way, but you did something bad against me that I can't remember. And I guess I'm gonna try my saw the person in half trick again. Oh, and he disappeared. What happened? Jojen, I'm sorry. I tried to do a trick on your dad and it didn't work. <laughs> Did your green sight tell you that? That Lord and Eddard Stark would try to do the saw at your, your father in half trick? <laughs> Did you see the future on that one? Oh, the vassals of the north now find you intimidating, the message tells me. You don't fucking say. <laughs> I would think so. Sansa's afraid of the dark? I don't care. Let her handle it alone. She's gained the Craven trait. Fuck you, Sansa. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you're afraid of the dark. You should be afraid of me. John, <laughs> John Snow asks, Dad, why do people die? Because of me. It's all a part of God's plan. Me. <laughs> why do people die is a good question. Ooh, by chance you've learned of an old tailor in Pike who once worked as a spy master. Cool, so I can increase my intrigue here, which I will need. All right, so the plan to kill Catelyn is finally going off uh, right here. So we have a murderer under the floorboards of an abandoned inn on the path of Catelyn's travel. So for some reason, my wife is staying at an inn, probably because she doesn't want to sleep with this murderous, torturous psychopath. Uh, but it's going to be the end of her, sadly. I have an assassin under the floorboards, which sounds like a stupid plan to murder someone, but it worked. Oh, did I get caught? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Oh, my wife deserves to be honored with a funeral, yes. Oh, and I'll invite the whole Tully family. <laughs> All the lords and ladies sh shall attend this funeral, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Guys, come and honor my wife, who I openly murdered. 
So we're gonna host an expensive funeral because this makes sense. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna spend lavishly on food even though I'm in debt. I'm just praying for a rebellion at this point to end this. Oh, there's dangerous factions, you don't say. Oh, they want to depose me big time. Oh yeah, because I'm buying an expensive feast. <laughs> everyone, everyone come. Come for this expensive feast. <laughs> oh, that was well spoken. What a speech, Branda. What a speech. Oh, the peasants have revolted in White Harbor. Why? Oh, come on. No, you. This guy's like, hey, can I not pay my debt? How about fuck you? I'm an evil, murderous bastard. Oh, the funeral. What a beautiful service it was. Oh, we'll all remember her. What a fine woman Catelyn Tully was. Alright, so that's our first murder plot succeeded. Our next one is going to be to murder the king. Guys, it's time to murder the king. Alright, so where is the king? Here he is. We can murder him. Alright, oh, oh cool, they show us uh, his artifacts now. So he's got uh, Robert's Warhammer, cool. So he has his own unique net weapon. Robert has contracted gonorrhea, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this is a mercy, bud, I'm sorry that happened to you. Alright, so we're gonna murder the king, and I can send for a faceless man. Oh, Cersei wants to help me, cool. So me and Cersei are in on this plot. Guys, that's how you know I succeeded playing an evil Ned Stark, when now I've teamed up with Cersei. So that's happening. Let's see. Yep, Cersei's in on the plot. I'm gonna send for a faceless man and see what what they're what they're asking for to kill a king. Let's see what they got for me. I'm already in debt, so hopefully they don't ask for money. <laughs> Be like, uh, can I pay you tomorrow? Oh, okay, good. I'm fighting an abdication war. Okay, I will not be blackmailed. How about you? fuck you? You wanna you wanna deal with me? You're gonna have to come deal with me. I'm raising my troops now. All right, so it didn't take too long. My vassals have risen up against me. And oh no, I think I'm about to get murdered, guys. I'm taking a uh, hapless carriage ride. Do 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 do. Excellent. We shall make good time on this carriage ride. Oh, and I the speed of the carriage picks up, and even more, it hurdles down the slope. Oh, and I have been murdered. Well, that didn't take long. I wonder if I'll find out who did it. Let's, let's see, but we can see who who killed me. I'm technically playing as Rob Stark right now, but we're not going to play through this. Uh, that was the end of it. I guess we'll never see what happened. I guess that faceless man got sent out for Robert Baratheon. And, uh, well, I guess we'll never know what happened. Robert Baratheon, I guess, avoided murder very narrowly. Alright, so I have a tyrannical stain because of my father. Wait, why? What did he do? No one ever caught who murdered him. Which is it's, it's too bad. It looked like the Umbers were leading that rebellion, though. So, wow. I, I did it, guys. That was fast. It did not take long for them to replace me as the King of the North. Or, sorry, the Lord of the North. All it, all it took was for me to brutally... Oh, my God. What I did to the Greyjoy family was not okay. That was Look at this. Look at these red skulls. Let's, let's just go over this. Here's Balon, the once king. He was crushed to death on the orders of Lord Eddard. His wife was broken on the wheel. Still don't want to know what that means. Victorion left alive. Or, sorry, this is Roderick, because I never captured him. Meryn Greyjoy was had his bowels torn out. That's not fun. Asha Greyjoy was wa was walled up alive. I still don't want to know what, what, what that means either. Theon Greyjoy was unfortunately mauled to death by a bear. <laughs> and then these other Greyjoys, these ones I had nothing to do with, actually. Oh, no, this one was sawed in half by me. So, also, that one's my bad. That was fun, guys. It was fun playing Game of Thrones with you all, all season. It was fun doing this. Uh, if you want to see more of us, uh, we do Let's Plays all the time, every day. Uh, you know, I play Let's Plays three times a week. Otherwise, the you know the boys Eric and Luke are playing all the time. Uh, we play games like this all the time as well. If you want to come support us, come watch our shit. That's up to you. Otherwise, join us next time. It's been fun, guys. Thanks.